let's say there's a woman who develops depressive symptoms and she, yeah. she read about it in a magazine or seen it on Dr. Oz or something. She goes into her primary care doctor and says, Doctor, I've got this, this, and this symptom. I think I'm depressed. The doctor says, what's going on in your life? And she says, well, nothing really. I mean, i got a normal life. Everything's okay, but God, I'm depressed. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's, it's not that she's trying to mislead the doctor, but she may be unaware of the fact that there, in fact, there are problems. <clears throat> Let's say in this case, the problem is that in her marriage of 15 years, there's been this gradual distance that's been growing between she and her husband. It's been very subtle and gradual, but at some point, she has no intimacy. They're not connecting. She starts to get depressed. She's not clearly aware of what's causing mm -hmm. that, so yeah. she thinks that it's just a biological imbalance or something like that. And uh, and so the, the physician might say, well, here, try this medication. Now, he, now, here's the truth. If she's clinically depressed and she goes home and she starts taking Prozac or, or whatever the drug is, it is po it's likely that in four weeks or so she'll feel somewhat better. Okay, It will resolve some of the depressive symptoms, like she might have a little bit more energy and her sleep may improve or something like that. But, I mean, the question is, how much Prozac do you have to take to make it okay to stay in a marriage where you're, uh -huh. there's, it's an emotional wasteland? Mm -hmm. and, and so as psychotherapists, you know, we realize that there's a symptom, and symptoms cause suffering. It shouldn't be overlooked at all, obviously, but when you don't address the underlying issue, it's not a long-term solution. And so mm -hmm. I, th I think that, that our stance has to be <clears throat> that if we see that there are clear-cut uh, personality problems, inter, uh, relationship problems, uh, there, there's trauma, abuse, or, or what, whatever the psychological sources of difficulties are, um, even if the antidepressants might be a part of the treatment package, I think we've got to have a strong voice in saying, but in my clinical opinion, here are some issues that are enormously important. And my guess is you probably know that too.